Hello guys, I am Manish. In this video, I would be simulating a new project which is a interfacing of 4 cross 3 keypad with Arduino. First, I would understand what is keypad. Keypad is used widely all over the world to interact with embedded devices. It is one of the most important input device. It is a quite easiest and cheapest method to send my command to the electronics devices. There are two types of keypad. First is 4 cross 3 and another is 4 cross 4. In first type of keypad, there are 12 buttons which are arranged in matrix format. There are four rows and three columns. In general purpose, we use this type of keypad in ATM machines, calculators, and in our laptops. Keypad use metric system in order to work. As you can see in this diagram, if we press button 1, then first row and first column has been sorted, then I will get in order to button 1 is pressed. If I am pressing button 8, then third row and third column has been sorted, then I will get to know that button 8 is pressed. You can see here, if I press 9, third row and fourth column has been sorted, third column has been sorted. You can see here, this is the hardware of my keypad. There are 7th wire, there are 8 wire. In first type, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, column 1, column 2 and column 3. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, column 1, column 2, column 3, and column 4. Now we start to draw our schematic. First, we open Proteus. It is a software in which we can simulate our electronics and electrical schematic. And we can also draw PCB design. I am clicking on new project. And my project name is Interfacing of 4 cross 3 keypad with Arduino. My path is this. You can choose your path according to it. Next, 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 again, next, and then finish. Here, I will draw our schematic. I'm searching. Arduino. In the search bar, this is our Arduino Nano and this is Arduino. I am selecting this. Now I am tapping keypad. In the search bar, there are four types of keypad. First and the second, third, and this. I am using keypad phone, this type of keypad. You can see here review of the my keypad which I am using. Now I will draw my Arduino Uno 
and keypad. Now I am connecting wire. I am connecting first row of my keypad. With the 13th pin of the Arduino Uno and second pin, second pin means second column of the keypad is connecting with the 12th pin of the Arduino, and the last column is of the keypad is connecting with the 11th pin of the Arduino Uno, and first row is connected with the 10th pin. And second pin is connected with the ninth. And third pin of the row is connected with eighth pin of the Arduino Uno. And the last row is connected with seventh pin of the Arduino Uno. When we place keypad button. The output of the Arduino Uno is showing on the serial monitor. So to see the output of the serial monitor, I am using virtual terminal. So go to in instruments and select virtual terminal. Here is my virtual terminal. Now I am connecting transmitter pin of the Arduino Uno with the receiver pin of the virtual terminal and rx pin means receiver pin of the arduino you know, is connected with the trans tx pin of the virtual terminal now my whole schematic is completed now i have to write code for arduino you know. so i am opening arduino idea Is opening yeah in Arduino IDE first I have to manage include the manage the library of keypad I'm searching keypad in the search bar keypad and I have to install yeah keypad by Mark Stanley and Alexander Brippe as you see I have already installed you can install from here and close it now I have to write a code First, I have to include the library of keypad. I'm including as include keypad dot h. Now I have to declare number of rows and number of columns. So I'm declaring a data type constant height. Rows. First, I am declaring row number of rows is four. This is the number of rows. Now, I am declaring number of columns. There are three columns. Number of columns now I have to declare a matrix character matrix that yeah, means character array of two dimensional character is. I 
टाइप टू डिक्लेयर दिस टाइप्स ऑफ अरे विच इंक्लूड सेम टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर सो आई एम डिक्लेयरिंग इट फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थ्री माई फर्स्ट वाइज बिन कंप्लीटेड कॉमिंग सेकेंड रो फोर फाइव सिक्स नो कॉमिंग थर्ड रो सेवेन एट and this is the last row star 0 ness now i've completed I have to declare here the size of my matrix. Rows and columns. This is the size rows and columns. So I have declared the rows, rows and columns. Now. I have to declare row pin. Yeah, I have to declare first row of my keypad. I am connecting with ten, second, nine, third, eight, and last is seven. Ten, nine. Eight. M. White. Column pin. The first column is connected with thirteen, second with twelve, and third with eleven. Pins of the Arduino. Now I'm creating a an object of keypad. Keypad object and keypad the name of my variable and I here I am calling keypad function. The keypad function has Four arguments. The first argument is make here map, and argument is key. Second argument is open. Third argument is column pen. Here P is capital. And fourth argument is rows. Last argument is columns. I've completed all over my declaration. Now come on the void setup. We see the output in the serial monitor, so we have to initialize it. Serial dot begin and my board is nine six zero zero. Now come on the board loop. When I run my program, only board loop is repeated 
again and again and all over the code is repeated only one time so i am creating a variable character variable which name is key in my key pad here i am declare it get key yeah this is completed this is a command of reading the key okay if i read any key then I have to print it my whole code has been completed this is key now let's verify our code i have to submit it save it i'm saving it the facing of go cross three keypad with arduino and i'm saving it in our directory according to me. you can save it according to you yeah i have to declare the size also here rows and column let's verify again Okay. then compiling there is no error now now we have to create a hex file for creating a hex file go to sketch click on export compiled binary now a hex now my hex file is creating and hex file is created then compiling now go on and add here X file. Here I am adding hex file. This is my hex file. I am adding it. Now you can simulate it. Here, if I am pressing one. Then one is showing. If I am pressing two, two, three, three is showing. If I am pressing seven, eight, nine, star, zero, and has. With the help of this, you can also implement the hardware. With the help of Arduino, you know, keep it. That's all for today's lecture. See you next time. Thank you.